What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lola and for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys self-care products that I'm currently loving. So most of these products are newer to me. I've been using them for like the past month or so and then I think like a couple of them I've had for a while now but I've been currently loving them. So I just wanted to share with you guys some self-care that I'm loving and most of them are like body and skincare products. So if you're into that keep on watching and yeah let's get right into it so to start off we can start off with like the body section so i've been in like um cocoa butter vanilla scent kick lately as you guys are going to see with the products that i have but let's start with my body wash so this is the current body wash that i'm using it is the raw sugar simply body wash cold press made with plant derived ingredients and cold press extracts for positively good clean skin and it's in the vanilla bean and sugar scent and it is vegan so another thing as well is i'm trying to try more products that are clean and vegan and don't have a lot of like additives that are not good for your skin so i've been trying to go more of like the cleaner route as you will see with the products that i'm sharing as well but this right here i'm like almost done with it i'm gonna have to get a new one i got it i'm gonna say like a month ago or so i just love how it smells like that vanilla scent it kind of gives me like a cocoa smell as well but the vanilla scent i really love it and it like it just leaves your skin feeling super smooth and then you also smell super good afterwards and i've been pairing this with my current favorite lotion at the moment so i've always used this brand nivea for lotion but this is the first time that i've tried the cocoa butter one and you guys i know some people don't love cocoa butter scents but i personally do and I had never tried this one and I just feel like it makes my skin smell so good like I just smell good like I want to lick myself <laughs> um, but yeah using this vanilla bean and then pairing it with this lotion afterwards I just smell like a tropical island I don't know like I don't know I just smell good but like I said I've always used Nivea I've used their essentially enriched one I think it's called like the one that's super like thick and moisturizing I really like that one especially because it leaves a really nice like glow to your body and then I used this one but just like the regular scent it says that it has 48 hour moisture and then nourishes dry skin for visible radiance and I like it because it's not too thick and not too thin it's like the perfect in between especially for summer you don't want something that's too thick on your body especially like you're going to be applying sunscreen and all that so i really like this highly recommend and most of the stuff as well you can find at target or like walmart or something like that and i'll be sure to link everything for you guys and another lotion that i've been trying recently and i'm loving is this healthy feet lotion what is it oh O'Keefe's? O'Keefe's? I'm not sure but I'm sure you've seen this on the internet so many people talk about it and it says that it heals relieves and repairs dry cracked feet so it's a foot cream and to be 100% honest with you guys I don't have the softest feet especially in the summertime my feet get really really dry and no matter how much lotion I put on and how much I scrub them to like get the dead skin off my feet are always dry so I bought this for the first time and started using it and I've been seeing a difference in my feet I've been applying it every night like when I'm in bed or after the shower and it doesn't have like any scent or anything like that which I like but it does say to apply like a small amount because if you apply too much it can get like kind of sticky or like too thick and feel weird so I've been applying like a dime size amount for both feet and I have been really liking this so if you girlies out there struggle with dry feet or anything like that I highly recommend this I think they also have like the circular one I don't know if that one's like a different texture from this one but this is the one that I picked up and yeah I've been loving this so far now another product that is new to me as well and I've been using for a few weeks now and have been loving is this aluminum free secret deodorant in the scent real lavender i love lavender scents i just feel like it's it's such a natural not overpowering overpowering scent that just smells really good and this says uh it has ph balancing minerals 48 hour deodorant free of parabens dyes and talc and again back to like me trying to 
lean towards more clean products because I have always used Secret but the other deodorant I was using it had like all of that stuff in it and it was the gel one if I'm correct so I recently started using this and honestly I love how this smells like it just smells so good it smells like lavender it's clean fresh i don't know it smells really really good so i haven't had any like odor issues with it like when i'm sweating i smell the deodorant i don't smell anything else but i will say that i don't really struggle with um armpit smell or anything like that like if i was to go a day without wearing deodorant i would be fine but this definitely helps just give you an extra scent and smell good but yeah highly recommend if you guys are looking for a new deodorant and something that's more on the clean side this secret aluminum free deodorant is really good now onto the last item for body is this sun bum sunscreen so you guys i have preached this many times before on my channel if you have watched any of my vlogs when i'm doing my skincare i always talk about sunscreen and sunscreen is like the most important part of your skincare routine even your body routine and i will admit i'm not the best at putting sunscreen on my body i'm okay i'm great and good at putting sunscreen on my face but when it comes to my body i don't do it every day but I have been making it like a goal of mine to add sunscreen to my body, especially when I'm like going out on a walk when the sun is like shining on me or if I know I'm going to be out for a while like during the day. I try to remember to apply sunscreen to my body because it is so important you guys but this is the sunscreen that I'm currently loving and it doesn't smell like your typical chemically sunscreen it has like a banana kind of scent I don't know but it's gluten free paraben free oxy benzone free retinol pal palmate free vegan hypo hypoallergenic and another thing to know as well is that I am highly sensitive or or like I can be allergic to certain sunscreens even on my body mainly on my face but um, on my body as well and with this sunscreen I did not break out in hives or it didn't cause me any irritation so I really really like that about this sunscreen and not only that after applying this you just have this like really pretty glow on your skin that it like leaves so imagine using that body scrub and then putting on that lotion and then topping it off with this towards the end your skin is just glowing and feels so like moisturized and like I don't know and you smell great <laughs> um, besides everything else I highly recommend this sunscreen right here especially if you have sensitive skin and struggle with finding good sunscreens like I do really really recommend this one now moving on to the skincare face portion we're gonna talk about another sunscreen that I'm currently loving and have recently purchased you guys Again, if you watch any of like my other vlogs where I talk about skincare, you would know that I have struggled in the past really badly with like getting allergic reactions on my face because of sunscreens. I don't know what ingredient it is in like regular sunscreens that make me break out in hives for like a week or so, but I have one sunscreen that is like my go-to. It's my ride or die. I love that sunscreen. It's the Skin Medica mineral shield 35 spf or something like that i've been using that one for like three years now on my skin and i use it every single day and i love that sunscreen but i was like i want to find something that like i wanted to venture out to a different sunscreen that can work for me and i've been scared to do so because i don't want to go through that whole problem of like having to deal with an allergic reaction on my face obviously i do like patch tests if i'm trying new products but i was like you know what it's time to find something different see if like i find another sunscreen that could work for me and i just have been scared to try new ones so this is actually a new product that um first aid beauty came out with i think a few weeks ago or a month ago i'm not 100 percent sure but i've been using this this for a little over a week and you guys i'm so happy it didn't break me out it's like perfect for my skin it does say it is safe for sensitive skin and i read a bunch of reviews and did my research before i actually bought it and tried it but it's the mineral sunscreen zinc oxide broad spectrum spf 30 it's a safe for sensitive skin and i mean besides the fact that it didn't break me out there's not like a ton other to say but i do 
really like the sunscreen it goes on pretty thin but you can definitely feel it on your skin when you first apply it if that makes sense and then it kind of sets in your skin and since it is a mineral sunscreen it has kind of like that white cast but this fades away like after a few minutes so you don't really get left with like that white cast on your skin like i said you can feel it on your skin but it's not like a horrible feel like if you touch it it just feels a little bit tacky but another thing to your makeup, at least for me, it lays like flawlessly on top of it and my skin's like just glowing. It leaves a really nice glow, like even if you're not using makeup. It's another thing I really like about it. Like my skin is just glowing after applying this. But yeah, you guys, I'm happy I found a new sunscreen that I can purchase in store because the other one, it's like online only. So I had to order it all the time and stuff like that. And then this one, I can just walk into either Sephora or Ulta and just purchase a sunscreen. So yeah, highly recommend. And if you guys have sensitive skin if you have struggled with sunscreens as well or you just break out really easily this next product i've talked about i think a few times on my channel before but it is this one right here la roche posay thermal spring water again for sensitive skin so this right here is just pretty much like a mist that refreshes your face so i like to use this throughout the day like say i go for a walk or something and like i come back and i feel hot i will spray this on my face and it kind of just freshens up or in the morning if i'm gonna go to the gym first thing in the morning and i don't want to do my full skincare routine yet i'll rinse my face and then i'll just spray this over and apply some spf and my skin feels like refreshed and clean versus having to do my whole skincare right there and then and i haven't tried this as like a primer or something but i feel like this would actually be good as like a like spraying it before doing your makeup so your makeup your face is like a little bit dewy and fresh and moist i'm gonna try that i, I just thought of that right now but yeah i really love this you guys it's like super easy and straight to the point but it's really good for freshening up your skin especially especially now that it's getting hot and warm outside and you want to feel fresh all the time this is good for that now i do have two ula henriksen uh skincare products that i have oh water is coming out of this because i keep it in my shower um that i have been trying the first one is this face scrub it's the lemonade smoothing scrub exfoliant with ahas and lemon peel extract it's an exfoliant and it's a physical exfoliant and again i had been wanting to try something different from the one that i was trying what the one that i was using before which was also from skin medica i love that one but i just wanted to try something different and honestly you guys i love how it smells it just makes your skin look so much brighter after using it the one thing i will say when i first tried tried this it felt very harsh on my skin i was like i honestly thought of like returning it but then i was like i'm gonna give it another try and i'm glad i did because after using it the second time i feel like my skin got used to it i just wasn't used to something so harsh so that's the only thing that i will say about this that it did feel a little bit too harsh like when rubbing it in maybe i rubbed it in too hard but i definitely went a little bit more gentle afterwards and it felt way better and not like I was scratching my face or anything like that but i love how this smells i love how bright my skin looks after this and it just exfoliates cleanses and removes any like dirt oils dry skin and stuff like that the next item is the ula henriksen cold plunge pore mask this i love you guys first of all i love the color of it it's like a bright blue color and this is meant to like again cleanse your pores blackheads any dry skin that you might have or anything like that this really helps with that and it feels very like fresh and minty when you put it on like it feels cold literally it's says cold plunge it feels cold on your skin but it feels so nice and then after you take it off your face just feels so fresh and sometimes what i do too um is i'll spray this over it after i remove it and my skin just looks so nice and glowy and of course i finish the rest of my skincare but this does have alpha hydroxy acids which is a form of exfoliant so it's definitely going to go in and exfoliate your skin as well and on days where, not, where i'm doing like a deep skincare like cleaning out my blackheads and exfoliating and doing all this stuff um i'll use this and then i'll use this afterwards and then my skin for the next few days or for like the next week is just super clean and glowy and that's usually like my weekly like self-care routine where i do a deep clean of my skin i'll do that so this next item i have you guys is a moisturizer that i have also been trying out for like a month or so or maybe like three four weeks i don't know but it is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream dewy moisture and plump to mouthful <laughs> um but it is this moisturizer right here and 
up. This is what it looks like on the inside. So it is like a gel based moisturizer, which I find perfect for the summertime because in the summer you don't want to wear something so like thick and heavy on your face because it's hot outside. You're probably sweating and stuff like that. So I personally have been loving this right here. It doesn't have a strong scent or anything like that. I think it's supposed to be like a watermelon scent, but honestly, it just smells a little bit like fruity. It doesn't, it's not overpowering. And when you put it on your skin, it just like melts into your skin and leaves this beautiful glow. This and the sunscreen together, like my skin has been glowing, you guys. And you can definitely use this like day and nighttime or just use it during the daytime. So in the daytime, you don't have such a thick moisturizer on your skin. And then at nighttime, you can do like your heavier night creams. But yeah, you guys, I love this. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So that's gonna give you an extra moisture and hydration to your skin and just make it feel hydrated, plump, glowy, all of the above now on to the last products i feel like i've been talking for a while now but it is going to be these two right here this duo it is the native shampoo and conditioner and the scent coconut and vanilla this is the moisturizing line and it's made with 10 ingredients or less so that's what i really like about the native brand is that they're very ingredient friendly i guess you can say they don't have a ton of ingredients that you don't know what they are they literally on the back of their label it tells you the ingredients and then it literally explains to you what each ingredient is because obviously they use all these like complicated words so they <laughs> break it down for you but i just have been loving how this smells again it's coconut and vanilla so like i said i'm on that little scent kick right now so i just smell like a walking ball of coconut and vanilla if you're wondering what i smell like <laughs> but i have talked about as well how i've been on the hunt for a new shampoo and conditioner for a while now that i love and um, actually works for my hair and i feel like these two right here have been it lately they're silicone free sulfate free paraben free everything free and they just get the job done they cleanse my hair really good my hair doesn't feel oily afterwards it feels nice and moisturized it's like easy to maintain it doesn't get oily quickly after a few days of cleaning my hair so i just use dry shampoo whenever i have to the other shampoo that i was using prior to this it was like my hair was getting oily within like the next day so this has been really helping to keep those oils like away and yeah i just love how this smells i love that it's a clean brand i'm gonna keep using this line right here for a while but i know they have like the mint and cucumber and then they have like a few different other ones but they all smell really good this is just what i went with i usually go with something more moisturizing for my hair because i don't do much to it so it's not like i have really damaged hair i don't have colored hair or anything like that so i just need something that's like easy to maintain my hair and keep it clean and that is this all right you guys that is going to conclude this video let me know in the comments below if you use any of these products or if you're going to purchase any of these and try them for yourself like i said earlier i'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys everything is pretty affordable most of this is drugstore products versus like some of the skincare stuff but still pretty affordable and yeah other than that if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and like these types of videos make sure you do subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys